Uncle Gob and the Uncle Gob and the Shed Dread. Hi, my name's Michael Rosen and I've written a book called Uncle Rosen and the Dread Shed with wonderful pictures by a man called Neenton. It's all about a boy called Uncle Rosen and his great friend called Uncle Cracker Snacker. Now Malcolm lives with his mum and his mum and Uncle Cracker Snacker. And Uncle Cracker is horrible. So this makes him so angry that him and him and him and him and Cracker Snacker decide to plot against Uncle Mum. They want a confusal and bamboozle. Yes! And whoa, what does Uncle Gob want to do, <laughs> do with Malcolm? He wants to put him in the drill shed. The stupidest thing I have ever done happened in Frarf. We were going to have a picnic, so we were driving along the road in our little yellow box. If you lean on it, the walls are so thin, your hand goes straight through the side of the car. <laughs> we stop. We get out, we spread the sheet, we unload the boxes and bags and boxes, bags and boxes, bottles. We sit down and it's... <laughs> What's that? What on earth could smell like that? A dead dad. We sit down and it's... <laughs> wasps. Hundreds of them. OK, everyone. Back in the car. Drive on. In the end, we got to this perfect place. Dug the car up a little slope, laid everything on the ground, ground, sat down. Eddie, do you want some chicken? Mm -hmm. Eddie, do you want some crisps? Mm -hmm. A drink? Mm -hmm. So Eddie, who was three years old at the time, walked off to the car and got into the back seat. He looked out the window and called out, Look at me! I'm, I'm in the car! car! Joe starts giggling back at Eddie. Look at Eddie, Dad, says Joe. Turn, Turn round, Joe. Don't take any notice of it. Mm -hmm. It only encourages him. Turn round. Then Eddie shouted out at us. Look at me! I'm driving! And Joe says, Look at Eddie, Dad. He's driving. I say, Turn round, Joe. Turn round. Dad, the car was moving. I said, Don't be silly, Joe. And I turned round to look at the car. He was right. The car was moving towards the road with Eddie at the wheel. He's screaming, the car's moving! The car's moving! Now, on the roof of the car is a tray of peaches. So Joe is calling out, Dad, <laughs> look at the peaches. The peaches are flying off the roof of the car. And I'm saying, never mind the peaches. Now, I know that what we've got coming up next is the road. So I think it'll be flatter there. The car will slow down. I'll be able to stop the car. We get to the road. The car doesn't slow down. I am not able to stop the car. We are now heading for a 12 foot ditch. If you were a sensible, intelligent person at this moment, you might perhaps go over to the car, open the door, close the door and wave goodbye to Eddie. At least Michael Rosen would be safe. What I did was try to stop Eddie from getting out of the car. The car nosedives down the ditch with Eddie screaming out the window, the car is moving! <laughs> Bam! Dead. <laughs> Stand by. Flump. <laughs> Stand by for the dive bomb. Whee! Great! Stand by for dive bomb. Whee! Kaflump! Yahoo! Red devil! Bam! Onto the floor. Dead. My light fitting has just fallen out of my ceiling. What's going on? I've never heard anything like it. What have you got in there? Hmm? A herd of elephants? Then, all quiet, he said. I shall tell your mother and father about this. Don't you worry, Sonny. You'll see. He went indoors. I dashed back to the front room. They were lying about all over the floor, panting and giggling. Yeah! Ha, ha! That, ha, that was the man from downstairs. He says we've bust his light or something. Blimey, one of them says. <sighs> You're in trouble. Yeah. Rose is in trouble, they said, and they... Got up off the floor and... 
dashed out the house. You can bet they didn't hang, hang about, about or anything. anything. 